This is prion protein, or PRP. You have this protein on the surface of your cells. Everyone does. It's encoded by a gene in your DNA. This protein has a unique ability to fold up the wrong way. And once it does, it causes other copies of the protein to do the same thing. The misfolded proteins can spread across the cell and across the brain, killing neurons and ultimately causing death. This is called a prion disease. Prion diseases can be acquired, most famously, from food contaminated with mad cow prions. They can be sporadic, meaning they happen spontaneously, or they can be genetic. People with mutations in PRNP, the gene for prion protein, can be healthy for decades, but then suddenly they get sick, and once the disease starts, it's fatal within about a year. Right now, there is no treatment or cure. This was the happiest day of our lives, our wedding in August 2009. It was also the last time I saw my mom healthy and happy. A couple of months after we were married, my mom started getting confused. She couldn't remember things. She lost her appetite. She continued to decline rapidly. She couldn't talk or feed herself or recognize family members. Soon she was on life support and we were still completely confused as to what was going on. In December, we got a preliminary diagnosis of krauss jakob disease. And just a couple weeks after that, she died. A few months later, we received some more bad news. She had actually died of a rare genetic prion disease, fatal familial insomnia, and I was at 50-50 risk of having inherited the mutation. We decided that we wanted to know. We had me tested, put a blood sample in the mail, and received our results. We learned that I have the mutation. A few days after we got the news, a scientist friend said to us, I told them, science has answers for you. It was the first hopeful thing that we'd heard. I was really more interested in trying to get them to look forward instead of thinking that this was game over, to get them to thinking that there was hope. And the hope wasn't just maybe one day someone will find a cure, but the hope was that they could find the cure. We weren't scientists, we didn't know anything about prions, so we started reading Wikipedia, trying to wrap our minds around scientific papers, badgering our scientist friends to answer questions. People were amazingly generous with their time. I quit my job and started going to classes at MIT and at Harvard Extension School, volunteering in a neurogenetics lab, and eventually working there, taking care of patient cell lines. I had to wear sneakers every day so that I'd be able to run from place to place because I was trying to cram so many science-related activities in. I quit my job analyzing transportation data and got a job analyzing genetic data. We started a blog, CureFFI.org, where we've tried to collect all the information in one place to make the resource we wished we had when we were starting out. We started a nonprofit, Prion Alliance, so that we'd be able to fund scientific research. And now we need your help to launch this project. Onla 138B is a brand new compound that was just invented. It may still be a couple years before it would make it to clinical trials, but if it works well, we want to help demonstrate that and push it along. Onla 138B has been effective in vivo against a strain of infectious prions, and we want to know if it will be effective against genetic forms of the disease. That's why we've teamed with Dr. Armin Giza, the compound's inventor, and Dr. James Mastriani, a scientist who created a model of GSS, another genetic prion disease. This study will test his compound in his model. This isn't the last you'll hear from us. We have lots more plans in store, and we won't stop until these diseases are cured. But let's do this now and get some answers. Are you afraid? No. We're going to own this. Boom.